Apple Vision Pro first impressions. First thing you notice is the external battery pack, the external power source. It has a long cable leading to it, it kind of gives it away. 12 cameras, five sensors, they're really discreet. You know, as you go around the curvature of the Vision Pro on that front lens, you can't really tell that they're there. Of course, the outward facing camera is a big part of the augmented reality functionality of the Vision Pro. It looks beautiful, but the price point, 3,499 US dollars, available early 2024. What does that mean in terms of the roadmap to, to getting consumer hands? We don't really know. And some of the use cases they demoed as well, the use of Apple TV or Disney Plus through the Vision Pro, but also enterprise applications. They talked about the compatibility with Microsoft apps as an example, really targeting developers, running different apps in parallel. And of course, that full library of iOS and the operating system for iPad also being accessible. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful looking augmented mixed reality headset, but without getting our hands really on it and putting it on, it's really hard to say what the experience is like. I'm a glasses wearer, as you can tell, and there's no room for glasses in there. You have to get kind of optical correction snap-ons that attach, attach with magnets. I'm actually short-sighted and I wear contact lenses. So all of that is fixable, but first impressions, small form factor, clean, but you can't get away from that external battery pack and external power source.